Hello people, it's Martin here, Final Scavenger. Don't usually say that, but anyway, so this is James. Hello. Hello. So James, I probably knew you first about 20, 15 years ago? Mm, 2005, I think. Quite very met. precise, isn't yeah. it? Okay. And we used to go to the same church, but we don't we now. Do. No, I go to a good one now. Yeah, that's right. He goes to a good one and I go to a dodgy one. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, we went to a record fair this afternoon and he kindly drove and invited me and uh, we're going to show show our records of which I struggled to find something and uh, yeah, yeah, I found yeah. not a lot really, but yeah. Do you want to show your one first then? Yeah. Okay, right, I've got two records. Okay, so this is... Um, the Good, The Bad and The Queen, second album, I think, from 2018, Sealed, and uh, it's got um, Damon Alburn from Blur, obviously, Paul uh, Simeon from Clash, uh, Simon Tong, who was in uh, Verve, I think, and Tony Allen, no longer with us, African drummer, uh, he's done a lot of stuff with um, oh, this Finnish guy, got to try and remember his name now. Jimmy Tenor, Jimmy Tenor, yeah, and I think I saw him live once, so it's sort of a bit like our folk stories from England, but done in a more interesting way. And you got yes. that one from it's a bit worried Dan, I'm didn't filmed. you? I got this from Dan... Peppermint Records. Peppermint Records store, yeah, 20 quid sealed. I think this will probably be worth a lot more, like, yeah, in a while. And the other record I got, so I walked around all... This is a record fair that I sometimes sell at, and I couldn't find anything. There was no final scavenger bargains to be had. It was all just, it was like a typical record fair, but we had a good time, didn't we? And we I did, made yeah. a few. I made a few yeah. politically incorrect jokes, and um, I found nothing this for there. £3. Uh, nothing nothing new there, there then, no. Dodgy church. This is by somebody called, oh, it was owned by Judy. Oh, Judy bought it in Paris in January 1964. Slightly water damaged there, uh, MGM, 50p in that corner there. I paid £3 for it. It's Joni James, like 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm hoping that the end of the world is the end of the world song that I know in the wee small hours of the morning, which is a song very appropriate for middle-aged men, I think. Frank Sinatra did that one, didn't Oh, he? did he? Oh, yeah. right. I wonder if yeah. he had a problem with his bladder. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Red sails in the sunset, as long as he needs me, my colouring book. Yeah, I just thought this was worth a go for three quid, quite a nice cover. You know, she's got her they're almost Christmas lights, but they're not jewellery. So that's all I bought. Is that normal for you? Would you normally just no, get two? No, I would or? usually go to lots of bargain buckets and buy a whole load of rubbish. Right. Some to sample, some to listen to and some to sell on for an extortionate price if I'm selling at record fairs. So would you say then that that was a disappointing record fair today? In I'd say in that was disappointing sense. apart from the fact you came along and it was good to catch up with you and yeah, and you got some interesting stuff. And I did, you're, yes. inter you're I interviewing did. me now so I need to return it right. back to you. Yeah. Okay, well, wow. yeah, I've got a little, yeah, okay. I've got a little stack. Got um, a stack. First right. one is Harry Belafonte Calypso. Which I got from the great people at the Better Dog Records. I'll be your assistant now. Look. There we go. There's their flyer. So they were actually selling this on their eBay store, and uh, I saw it the other day, and I just sent them a message saying, um, "Will you, if you don't sell this on eBay, will you bring it to the uh, to the record fair in Leighton Buzzard?" And they said, "Yeah, okay, we'll bring it with us." So that was reserved for me today. So this apparently was the um, for, I think it was the first album to ever sell a million copies. I don't know if that's like in the world or in America or UK, but um, yeah, it's got some really good, uh, really interesting Calypso songs on it. So, uh, And your Calypso fact? My Calypso fact, my, which my daughter taught me, yes. is Calypso music is from Trinidad, which I didn't know that before. No. It's not from Jamaica. Dwight, or... Dwight York from Twin Twin Trinidad. He was, yeah. Trinidad. Yeah, he is, yeah. yeah. Mm. So that's that one. Very that pleased one, with yeah. that. Next one was... Um, I don't know if you can see that. Alan Parsons, iRobot. Now, I did actually buy a copy of this on Discogs a few weeks back, and I thought I was buying the UK 
first pressing, but what was sent to me was a German reissue, and the bloke kindly uh, refunded it. You know, it wasn't Michael Forty Five, though, was it? No, it wasn't him. No, no it wasn't him. Okay. So I sent it back, yeah. and but this one is a UK, and um, I've been after this for a while. I've got his other, well, not his other, but another album of his called uh, Eye in the Sky, which is really good. Um, and this is really good as well, so I'm looking forward mm. to playing this one. I had that once, and I don't think I ever played it. Oh, you're mad. And it's a good am, album. Yeah. Need, oh, need. it came from here, didn't it? Oh, yeah, that yeah, was from, from Bob. Bob. Yeah, Bob's Records. Bob's and records. he... Uh, Peterborough? Not sure where yeah, he's Peterborough. from. He's got his own van, though. He's got his he's own got van all decked van. out with his, yeah. with his um, branding and everything. Yeah. Yeah, he was, he was a good guy. Yeah. Enjoyed talking okay. to him. Then from... Dan the Man from Peppermint Records. I've got two. So I've got uh, Roxy Music, Flesh and Blood. That was a fiver. I've got the uh, the only other Roxy Music one I've got is Avalon, which I really like. So I haven't even heard this album, but uh, I'm just buying it blind, if you like. And Hopefully you, you said good. to me that if you were going to be a rock star, a pop star... If there was anyone you were going to be, it would be Brian Ferry. Brian Ferry, yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a cool guy, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm expecting there'll be some good tracks on mm -hmm. there. Um, another one I got from Dan at Peppermint was... Well, I've always wanted to be Andrew Ridgely, was, of course. <laughs> Not... Wham, make it big. <laughs> yeah. And it says £10, but he did a deal on that one for me. He did that for a fiver, so shout out to I Dan. I think I could Top have given man. you a free spare one of them now, but sorry. Now you tell me. Yeah. Okay, well, Sorry. anyway, yeah. I'm looking forward to playing that because, yeah. you know, who doesn't love Careless wow. Whisper and yeah. that kind of Lovely. thing? Yeah. And then last but not least, I got, and I can't remember the chap's name. Um, uh, Carl. Carl, okay. With a K, I think. <clears throat> Carl with a K. I yeah. got uh, Billy Joel, 52nd Street. I've got most of his other albums, but I don't have this one. So, uh, yeah, it was good to get mm. that. Um, yeah, it's a good nick. So, yeah, I think I did pretty well today. Yeah. Yeah, and it was um, a nice fair, wasn't it? It was at a football club in the in the um, well, just a room. Yeah, like the function room at, at yeah. um, Leighton Town FC. So. Yeah, no, it was good. And the next one is in June, I believe. Mm. Uh, Sunday, the eleventh of June, there'll be another one uh, in Leighton Buzzard, but at the brewery. So if you're in this local area, Bucks or uh, Bedfordshire, get yourself mm. along to that. It'd be good. Um, they normally have food and and beer at that one as well. So. Mm. Good, good mm. one. Do you drink at all? Never. No. 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 Might have a Bailey's at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really, you know. If I ever drink, I've done it too much in one go. Yeah, but not so much these days, no. Mm. no. And what was the first record you ever bought? Do you remember? Uh, with my own money, it would have either been yeah. um, the Michael Jackson Bad album, yeah. Or the Kylie Minogue Locomotion. I think I possibly got both of those on the same day back yeah. in 88, 89. Oh. I remember going to Woolworths in Aylesbury yeah. <clears throat> and getting the... One of them was a cassette tape. In fact, they might have both been cassette tapes, actually. Oh. What, cassette singles? No, no, albums. Oh, oh albums, yeah. Uh, mm. But they were the first... It was the first music I remember buying with mm. my own sort of pocket money. Mm. Uh, everything I would have heard before that would have been like my parents... My mm. dad's eight track, yeah. Santana yeah. eight tracks and Deep Purple eight tracks and yeah. stuff like that. Um, yeah. And my mum had like Motown stuff, D Dion Warwick and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And you've got your deck here behind you and some records and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. I mean, I only got back into this in like 2018, 2017. Yeah. So I've got about 300 records now. Yeah, I can see some more over there. Yeah. yeah. How many have you got? Have you counted them? Have you got them catalogued? I think, anyway? well, I did start putting them into Discogs and I only got about, up to about 200, but I think I've probably got maybe somewhere between three and five thousand. Thousand? Yeah. Mm. Wow. So, yeah. yeah, there's a couple of people in vinyl community have said that they're going to have a, a good clear out. Mm. So, yeah, I could probably do bit of that yeah like a bit of a so, cull a mm. bit of a cull mm. yeah yeah so thanks for watching just under 10 minutes he's got a nicer wallpaper than than, than we have yeah <laughs> okay that's it we'll go bye bye, bye.